glorious day in the kingdom of the Lord. Amen. 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 Let us give him a hand clap of praise. We, we stand, we stand on the promises of Jesus until two or three are gathered together in his name. We're touching and agreeing. Are we right? Yes. Uh, then the Lord will be in the midst. So let us honor the Lord Jesus Christ right now by giving him a hand clap of praise. Yes. Yes. Thanks for all that you do, what you've done in the past, what you're doing right now, and what you are going to do in the future in the life of this branch of Zion. Uh, we pray, oh God, we stand in solidarity that we come forth and we bless your name. And as we bless your name, we pray that you would minister unto us unto them. And not this service only as you can. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. We all say, Amen. 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 At this time, let us receive our worship leader as he comes forth to lead us in this glorious day. Worship experience. We're going to ask Pastor Thomasia that he might come and take us in prayer. Then Pastor Graham will follow him with our uh, uh, scripture. And then we will listen to Zion Poplar's men give us a chant. And then they will regale us in song in that order. Praise the Lord, everybody. Eternal God, our Father, we come to you humbly as we know how. First of all, just to give you thanks for all that you have done. We thank you, Father God, for the day that you have made, the day that none of us have seen, and the day that none of us have heard of before, Father. We thank you, Father God, for the blessing of your son, Jesus Christ. Right now, Father God, in the midst of these people, we call for the presence of this installation service, Father God. We ask that you put all self to the side so that nothing gets the glory but you. We ask, Father God, that you be with this man and this woman, Father God, and to lead this branch of Zion, Father God. Help him, Father God. Give him the strength that he needs. And Father God, be with the people as well, Father God. For these are your people, Father God. We ask, Father God, that you give them open minds and open hearts so that they may receive the leadership as it is given. We ask that you continue to bless each and every person that is on this program, Father God. Let all be done for your glory. It is the matchless, marvelous name of your son, Jesus the Christ, that we do pray with thanksgiving. And all of God's children said in one voice, Amen. Amen. themselves teachers 
having it in here. Verse 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And shall be turned into favor. Uh, verse 5. But watch thou in all things. Uh, Pastor. Endure affliction. And do the work of an evangelist. And make full proof of this ministry. Oh, come along.
and he has yet to invite me to come and sit from his garden. <laughs> <laughs> and he also tinkers with fixing engines, so he's an all-around man. So we just want you that when he comes, that you pray with him, that the Holy Spirit will touch him and give him an inspiring word to, to carry pastor-elect Gale and leadership in this most historic church. In this auspicious occasion, it's one that we don't take light. We know that everything is done in time and under God's hand. So we just, uh, when he comes, receive this man of God. So hear ye him. Amen. One more time. And give us a demonic story. Trouble in my way, trouble in my way, I have to cry something, have to find something, I trouble, trouble in my way, I have to cry something, have to find something, I need to wake at night, I need to wake at night, and it's alright, I know Jesus, Jesus, he will fix it, and you are
Corbett stood the third pen. Each one had six wings. With twain, he covered his face. And with twain, he covered his feet. And with twain, he did fly. Mm -hmm. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. The whole earth is full of his glory. The post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Mm -hmm. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, yes. because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken from the tongue from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this have touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is free. Also I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go forth? But I said, Here am I, send me. He said, Go and tell the people, Here and you. But understand, not for you indeed, but for me. This is the word of the Lord. Subject this morning, call to servanthood. Pastor, your call to servanthood. Let us pray most holy and wise Father Lord as we stand today, Lord. We ask now, Lord, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. Amen. A call to serve you. This section of scripture starts out in the year that King Azar died. And I want to pause for just a moment and, and give you a little history of King Azar. King Azar was a former king at the age of 16, the Lord blessed him. He grew in stature. The Lord allowed him to conquer many armies. And in other words, Isaiah had success in his appointment from the Lord. One day, King Isaiah went into the temple, decided that I'm the man. He decided that I'm going to burn incense on the altar. Priests went in before him and they and they scrambled and told him, say, you can't do that. This, this is the Lord. Now. This is not your job. This is our job. And and and, and the king started arguing with the priest. And, and the moment he was arguing with the priest, according to the scripture, if you want to look it up, go go to Second Chronicles and the 26th chapter, and, and you'll find that, that while he was arguing with the priest and wanted to take over the temple, that he broke out on his forehead with leprosy. Well, what happened to King Arzai? King Arzai got the big head. Like so many of us get the big head. So my first point to you, Pastor, is don't get the big head. <laughs> Pastor, God's people. And that's another thing, Pastor. 
This is God's church. Yes. 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 All right, man. Not your church. All right, man. I make it a habit of saying, when somebody asks you where you said, I say, I'm pastor. Junior Zion said the church. I don't say I'm pastor. Church. Yeah, I'm Union Zion Baptist Church. Why? Because God said Union Zion Baptist Church long before I was ever born. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to bring a live coal. But all you need to do is confess your sin. Go in your secret closet, yeah, yeah. and the Lord will cleanse you.
got an air bow this way. Another lane got an air bow this way. And another lane got an air bow that way. What are you trying to say, Pastor? What I'm trying to say is, if I'm in the left lane and just over in the straight lane, I'm going to have an accident. So what I'm saying to you, pastor, church congregation, stay in your life. Don't let 
that get in your way. Yeah. <laughs> this is stoical to me. Yeah. But that's popular. It's just another church to go. Am I right? Yeah. 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 To God. Yeah. I know when you celebrate the historical Zion Poplar's Baptist Church. Yeah. Oh, look at that celebration. Yeah. <laughs> That's important. Yeah. That's very important. Yeah. 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 But you know who's important too? Yeah. Yeah. The important to man, yeah. not God. Yeah. All right. All right. So you act like. Yeah. <laughs> it's just an ordinary church right. that God has placed it to preach the word. First lady, I don't have anything here for you, but I got a little footnote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just keep on <laughs> being his armor bearer. <laughs> you keep on supporting him. Yeah. You keep on yeah. cooking bacon and eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as long as you support your husband, yeah. God will continue to bless you yeah. as well. Yeah. And the you. Because mm -hmm. you guys are very popular. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and if the truth be told, all of us, pastors included, yeah. we need to check the size of our heads to make, right sure, yeah. make sure that it's in the right place. Yeah. Pastor, thank you for a timely word. Thank you, thank you so much for a timely word. We come now to this part of this worship experience that is most most safe. And I would ask that you would try to refrain from walking during this time. You would try to refrain from just making unnecessary noise. Because this most sacred part is due to the installation of this great man of God. Mm -hmm. As these pastors come and say what thus says the Lord, I want you to be able to take it in. Time poppers, I want you to be able to listen to it. The charge to the pastor will come from Pastor Pastor Price and from Pastor Darrell Hutch. Hear ye then. God bless you. To all of the children of God that visit us, as the Lord has made here, yeah. shall rejoice mm -hmm. and be glad. In My assignment on today is charge. Pastor Ronald gave hmm. I charge you on this day, my brother. Mm -hmm. Pastor. Ronald Dale Sr. First, to preach the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The foundation of any ministry is God's word. This congregation needs your wisdom. Mm. They need your experience. They need your advice. Mm. But above all is the sufficient word of God. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So preach, my brother. Preach, preach the word. Mm -hmm. Preaching God's truth is, is, is a sacred and demanding task. Mm -hmm. And it requires perseverance, courage, and boldness. Mm -hmm. Right now is the season to preach the word. Mm -hmm. But the world don't want to hear the truth. Mm -hmm. But you've got to preach it anyway. Mm -hmm. Especially now. In times such as these, mm -hmm. I charge you to understand today in the Word of God in Second Timothy, the fourth chapter, the third verse, that that Paul warns Timothy mm -hmm. that the time will come. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Well, I stand to tell you today, my brother, that the time is right now. Yeah, yeah. That time is right now. So so I charge you to to convince and rebuke and exhort with all long suffering and teaching as you preach in this season that they will know the truth of God's holy word. Yes, yes. Romans 10, 14 says, how can they hear yes. without a preacher? Yes. Pastor, I, I charge you today to preach the word. Mm -hmm. Secondly, my brother, I charge you to lead and lead strongly and, and lead patiently. See, when, when your people are wrong, correct them. When they're in trouble, comfort them. Lead the flock. Lead the flock. Don't push the flock. Sheep are led by good shepherds. Protect your flock as a good leader would. Wolves every now and then will show up in the midst of the sheep. Uh, but your leadership and, and your calling on the, on the name of an almighty shepherd will cause the wolves to flee. Mm. Oh, watch out for the wolves and every now and then you, you need to be aware because uh, Paul uh, warns uh, Timothy to be aware of your surroundings and you got to watch out for those things that trot and, and those things that creep and those things that crawl and, and even those things that twist. you got to watch out, my brother. Lead your congregation as the Lord shall lead you. You are accountable to your congregation. But, but let me add this, that you are not the higher help. I charge you to serve God by putting Him first. And your leadership ability will sustain the test of time. And then, Pastor, I charge you to be sober-minded about your life and your ministry. Be sober-minded about the sins of the flesh. Be sober-minded about the life and, and, and its troubles. Be, be sober-minded about hardships and afflictions of all kinds. You will face trials, personal, emotional, and spiritual. Be sober-minded about the reality of tribulation. Be sober-minded about temptation and oppression of the devil. You know the devil hates you? He wants your ministry to fail. Rebuke him in word and resist him in spirit. And, and remember when he comes when it comes to suffering, Paul says to endure. Be sober minded about your pastoral task. Be serious about the souls of your people, about fellowship, about visitation, and about counseling. And be sober minded about the faith, the fate of sinners. Paul says to preach the word, my brother, and do the work of an evangelist, which should remind you of the pastor's fidelity to the gospel. Mm -hmm. I charge you before God to commit to these things, uh, the faithful ministry of the word and of prayer, so that your ministry will be fulfilled by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. I charge you to love your wife and keep her by your side, and, mm -hmm. and remember that you are married to her to her death do your part. Mm -hmm. Oh, she comes before your congregation. Finally, Pastor Gail, I charge you to resolve to know nothing among your people but Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Mm -hmm. Oh, this Jesus who died on the cross of Calvary. Yes. This Jesus who Herod couldn't kill. This Jesus who the Pharisees couldn't confuse. Yes. This Jesus who world leaders can't ignore. This mm -hmm. Jesus who the grave couldn't hold. Yeah. This Jesus who rose on the third day morning. This Jesus who commissioned you to go ye therefore teach all nations. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Mm -hmm. Or don't pursue your own greatness, mm -hmm. but magnify the Lord through the ministry of the gospel. Uh -huh. I charge you finally to grow this church. Mm -hmm. I pray that God will increase your territory. Whatever the Lord's will is for you in thine popular Baptist church, let His will be done. Love your congregation. Support your congregation. Watch over and pray for them. Participate in their joys and their sorrows. Congratulations to you, my brother. Congratulations to you, my first lady. May God continue to richly bless both of you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen, my brother.
eight charges for you. Eight represents a new beginning. When you accepted the call, the pastor, Zion Poplar, Baptist Church, that represents a new beginning. First Lady Gail, you are the First Lady. That represents a new beginning for you as well. Things are going to be a little different, but hold on to God's unchanging hand. Mm -hmm. Pastor Gail, Pastor Rona Gail, I charge you to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I charge you to practice Christian ethics. I charge you to proclaim Christian eschatology. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. Let them know that Jesus is soon to come. Yeah. Tell them about the end time, yeah. not only the beginning time, mm -hmm. but let them know about the end time. Mm -hmm. I charge you to or evangelize to the lost. Yes. Mm -hmm. I charge you to build up the body of Christ. Yes. Edify. Build up the body. Yes. Christ was all about building up, not tearing down. Yes. I charge you to equip the saints with the word of God. Yes. Because as long as they got the word of God, God will sustain them. He will keep them during trying times. And the times that we're in, even right now, God is still keeping them. Mm -hmm. I charge you to exalt and to glorify God in all that you say and do. And number eight, the final charge to Pastor Ronald Gale. Mm -hmm. What does the Lord require of you? Mm -hmm. But to do justly, mm -hmm. to love mercy, mm -hmm. and to walk humbly mm -hmm. with God. Amen. May God bless your ministry Amen. as you begin a new beginning, you and First Lady. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Amen. his responsibility. Now to you, Zion Papa, your charge is coming. Pastor Larry Arrington, the first morning star, will come now and give the charge to the church. Pastor Larry. <laughs> Thank God for the ability and witness and mercy that allowed us to serve. Amen. It's, uh, it's a union we're talking about here. First, uh, up to this point, you've heard the union that's been placed on uh, uh, the challenge to Pastor Gail, but there's some work for you all to do as well. So Amen. let's stand. Um, uh, Zion Papa's Baptist Church. Uh, you see it stand. I have a few words there that, that's written in this book, and then I'm going to speak from my heart. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, Amen. It says, a charge to the congregation. Do you, do you pledge your love and loyalty to the man of God who has been placed here by the Holy Spirit to be the overseer of Zion Poplar's Baptist Church, if so you can say? We do. We do. We do. Mm -hmm. do you promise your support through daily lifting him up in prayer, following his lead cooperatively, providing for his material well-being so that he serves you spiritual food and he will have not wanting of physical substance. Amen. That you ought to give him a little something to make sure you take care of him financially, okay? <laughs> say we do. We do. <laughs> do you place your trust and hope in the chief shepherd, Jesus Christ, to be your Lord and your Savior and his word, the Holy Bible, as your guide for all programs, procedures, plans, and policies? Just so say we do. We do. I charge you as a congregation of people that be such a kind of congregation that there's no other place that he would rather be. 
And that's, that, 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 that's important. Because there's all kinds of opportunities around for a pastor to serve, you know, he looks here and he looks there. But be, be, be so warm and loving and compelling that when he goes home, he's thinking about his people, he's thinking about his love, he's thinking about the things, the kind things they do for him, that, that you know, it had to have, it's not planned, it's not put in the program, it's not put anywhere, but it was in your heart. Amen. And those are the kind of things that, that make a pastor want to be a certain place, you know. That, mm -hmm. So I charge you to, to be those kind of people. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I charge you, your pastor is a representative of God. And he, he's not God. I'm going to you clear to you right now. He's a representative. So so if he, if he makes a mistake, don't, don't be willing to crucify him. Man. Don't have to walk around and tell him that we're going to the pickles go after you. No, no, no. Time to time, something could happen. But then he ought to feel like, hey, you know, they love me enough. Now, we all, oh, now, we know, let's, let's not take that too far off. Don't go running all over the place with that. But but I'm, I'm talking about something that could be said or something, a little incident or whatever here and there. But that, that he knows that, that he has your heart. Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the people love him and they want yeah. him to be there. And, mm -hmm. and and that's the kind of church that a pastor will will stay and he's not just yeah. passing through. Yeah. You know, he come, you know, he brings a bunch of sermons and, you know, next thing you know, he's moving oh, on down the road yeah. somewhere. <laughs> but, but no, no, because he'll want to be here with those people for the long term. Yeah. You know what so I charge you, amen, in the presence of God and of yes. this company and this people, yes. that you will be that kind of a congregation. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. God bless you today. Yes. 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 We thank you, divine pastors, for the charge and the prayer of all of this worship. We come now to this great, great. brought the church together. They laid hands on them, blessed them, and allowed them to go out. So along with these fine pastors who is here with us, if there be any other pastors in the audience, I would ask you to come and take part in this also. Pastors, let's gather and lay hands on Pastor Gay. Go forth in ministry. 
with that dunamis power. Mm -hmm. yeah. Allow them not to be afraid of their faith, mm -hmm. but preach the word in season yeah. and out of season. Yeah. Anoint them afresh. Yeah. Anoint his wife. Yeah. Wow. Allow the spirit to fall fresh yeah. on them. Oh, yeah. But it's in the mighty name. Oh, yeah. It's in the mighty name. Oh, yeah. It's in the mighty name. Oh, yeah.
I want to read you because it's just touched my heart. So, my love, when you find yourself stuck, feeling overwhelmed and out of control, just how amazing you are. If you don't know this with certainty, take another look. See what God sees. You are amazing. We love you. I love you. Your First Lady, Angela. <laughs> Good evening, friends, Good evening. associates, acquaintances, loved ones, everyone. I'm here to present this black to our new pastor, the black pastor. It's been a while, it's been a long, it's been a little while, but it was working. Amen. Every day when I see you guys, I'm going to tell you, you ain't going away. Oh, I ain't going to say that, I mean, you're not going away. I'll, I'll be you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I apologize. But this is what the flag says. Pastoral installation, September 25th, 2021. The I Hopper Baptist Church celebrates Pastor Ronald W. Gale Sr., God's chosen vessel, as the level pastor of the historic mm -hmm. Sign Hopper Baptist Church. Pastor Gale, we love you. As we conclude this installation service, thank all of you for your attendance. Thank you for your As one more thing, and after Brother Cook, Pastor Dickerson will come and give us his closing remark and the benediction. Amen. Amen. All right. Okay. Then we will hear from Pastor Gale. Then we will hear from Pastor Dickerson. Amen. Well, I'm going to do like the pastor tell me to do. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done this. I'm learning on the rope. Yeah. Well, I've told you before, y'all got to teach me. Yeah. I'll keep on with this. So, uh, the offer to you, our uh, pastor, is. You see where they're on the door? I've got to echo my back. You, 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 you got to have somebody behind you. Yeah. And I'll uh, we'll present it to you. Two sisters, sir. Because God has put you in place to be a shepherd of the Now, I'm going to give you an old strategy. You have a lot of them. <laughs> 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 you might one of those, I don't know. But the real key I got in my hand. But I'm going to give you this one. <laughs> you know. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be here. We'll be here. We'll be locked out. We love you.
tell God who is always first in my life that his blessings are always overflowing yeah. in me. And I don't know why. But he seems to love me for some reason or another. Uh, all right. Maybe it's because I heard him say one time that God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I just want to thank God today that this was his plan that allowed not only me but all of us to be within this operation. Mm -hmm. Zion Poplis, I thank you for choosing me as your pastor. It shows me that God has a great plan for all of us. And he knows all the players and where to place them. And I thank you for that. I am honored and I am humbled by this journey. The Bible says, I have not seen nor ear heard Neither have I entered into the heart of man mm -hmm. what God has prepared for them that love him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. My wife whom I admire and who has stood by my side and walked with me during this Christian walk. Mm -hmm. I can't say enough about her spirit, but those that have come in contact with her you know what a beautiful woman she is. And you can feel the spirit of God and that loving nature that is within her. And I love her for that. My family, my mother, my sister, the Willis family that, that has shown up today, the Smith family, the Grimes family, the, the Evans family, our son Keith and his wife, Zenobia, and my grandson Jalen, their mother and father, Papa Joe, <laughs> Reverend Dr. Mary. In fact, I want to recognize Papa Joe today as his birthday. <laughs> I look forward for tomorrow being the first sermon that I preach to John Hopkins as your pastor. The Holy Spirit has been guiding me and directing me along this journey, and, and I know that He will give me the right words for His people. Mm -hmm. People that will inspire you to grow and to become disciples for God. To be able to go out and proclaim that it is one Lord, one faith, and one yeah, baptism. All right. And that you will lead others to Christ. I want to thank also my, my brother in Christ, a man who I met many years ago when I was in the service. My brother, Gene. I call him Yo Gene. <laughs> His wife, I, I, I thank them coming all the way from upstate. They came here and surprised me. So that is a man that I would lay down my life for. It's good to have one friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Just one. And I'm thankful to God that I have. That's one. <laughs> As my cousin Bill Mary came up here and stated, she is the daughter of Warner Smith, who preached at this church for 45 years. Yeah. But her son is also here. His son is also here. Yeah. Who would have thought we'd be ministers? How about that? Come on. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought that? <laughs> But I also want to thank all the ministers and the preachers here in Gloucester County. The ones that I have met and the ones that have taught me things along the way. They may not know that they taught me anything. But I'm here to say each and every one of them, the ones that spoke today, the ones that are not here, have all taught me a lesson at one time or another. And I especially want to thank them. Pastor Hudson, I want to thank him. And 
we knock heads over different theological things every now and then. <laughs> but sooner or later, he's going to come around. <laughs> I want to thank Pastor Warren, me and him, we have a strong bond because we have been initiated and we have been joined in a fellowship unlike any other military branch in the history of the United States of America, that is the United States Marine Corps. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Arrington, he allowed me to preach at his church, and he allowed me to come back a second time. <laughs> I thank him for that. Pastor Graham, we know Pastor Graham. When I first met him, I, I just couldn't figure out why he was laughing at me all the time. <laughs> but he seemed to smile at everybody. <laughs> I thought it was special. <laughs> I know I'm going to forget somebody, but y'all forgive me. Pastor Vincent Fryer. Oh, no, Navy guy. Watch it, watch it, watch it. I believe that he retired as a senior teacher. We're not going to hold that against him. No, no, no. <laughs> For some reason, they didn't want to keep me any longer to become master. <laughs> <laughs> and I leave, I leave the best for last. I didn't miss anybody else that I hear. Yeah. All my brothers and sisters back here. Uh, uh, pastor Dickinson. Amen. Pastor Amen. Dickinson is the pastor of Union Zion Baptist Church, Amen. my home church. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Where all my ancestors went, all the founders went. He's the pastor over there. When I when I came here and I united with the church, and I met him, we had a kinship, almost like a son and a great grandfather. <laughs> but we had, we had, we had a kinship, and, and it, it's all right to laugh in the church. It's all right to have a good time. Can I come back and preach again? <laughs> 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 and we all know that the reason that we don't have any flowers up here. That's right. Yeah. 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 We know why. Do I have to tell it? <laughs> tell it. <laughs> I'm going to tell it anyhow. Tell it. Don't know. Yeah. Pastor Dickerson is a man filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And when he starts to preach, you better move everything out of the way. Yeah. 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 But he preached a very good sermon today yes, that man. touched my yes, spirit. Yes, yes. Some that are not in the body of Christ, when somebody tries to teach you something or direct you in the way that you should go, we take resentment upon that. Mm -hmm. I am the type of man that I expect everybody else to, to learn from the examples that we see around us today. And we can all learn something from somebody. That there is somebody out there that knows a little bit more than you. And be willing to accept that wisdom and that knowledge. And then pass that on to someone else. I love this county here, Boston. I love the city, the metropolis, the great metropolis of Wareneck, Virginia, where my father will come. All right now. All right. I love my cousins who I haven't seen in so many, 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 many years that we have had an opportunity to get to know each other as adults. Even though some of them I knew as children and we didn't play together. But my brother, cousin John and, and Richard, they were older than the rest of us. They were out doing wheelies on their motorcycles. And they were too grown for the rest of us. But we had a chance to know each other as adults. Learn to, to love one another. Man. So today, if you don't take anything away from this service today, take this one thing with you. That is that Jesus loves all of us. Yeah. In fact, He loved us all so much. Yeah. 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 
appreciate his life. Yeah, man. And as I take my seat, and, and I say to you, as I always say when I finish my sermon, I love you, and you can't do anything about it. All right. All right. Everybody else that's here. So don't leave without picking up a bag. Amen. Amen. Good, we want to thank my pocket Baptist Church for allowing me to serve you today. This pastor. Allow me to serve in this installation minister. We thank God for all of you. That's one last thing I'd like to say to Brian Poppins' congregation. We pray to God for a pastor. To everybody else from this day forward, he's rubbing. Ronald Gale, mm -hmm. to you as members of Zion Papa Baptist Church, he is to you, Pastor Ronald Gale. Why would you pray for yes, a pastor? Let's keep calling him reckless. Right now, right now, right now. Man. He is a rep. Yes, yeah. indeed. But to you, from this day forward, yeah. uh -huh. he is passed. Yeah. Okay. Amen. 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 He glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. And all of God's children said, Amen. 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 Amen.